Being a Satanist, one is often mistaken for being a purveyor of mystic claptrap, like so many occultists, and in truth, we are masters of reality, striving to understand and utilize the universe for our personal indulgence. Indulgence. One of the surest outward signs of the Satanist is not the sporting of all black clothing or the prominent display of the Baphomet sigil, granting that these could be dead giveaways, but the projection of the self-confidence and success which springs from the mastery, from the mastery of a field. Satanists can do things, and do them quite well. This is why they have chosen to embrace Satanism, the only religion to revere the talented few who stand above the dim and barren hordes. There is true magic in the mastering of skills. Most members of the herd will look with awe upon a talented and accomplished practitioner, to them, the producing of quality results with the effortless seeming ease of mastery will appear to be pure wizardry. Wizardry. Just think of how similar to occult practices are many fields when one becomes an initiate. There is the inevitable jargon that serves as an arcane language. Computer programming has such mystic tongues as COBOL, Pascal and Fortran. Painting has many exotic terms such as medium, ground, umber, cerulean, and uses such esoteric items as aromatic oils, varnishes, and a theme like palette knives. Cooking has many abstruse practices such as maceration, basting, and sautéing, and we know how effective a tool of lesser magic it is. Let's not forget the mastery of mechanical and electronic devices. As those who know nothing about their vehicles and machines always look at the mechanics and repairmen as a priesthood, privy to obscure and forbidden techniques. Music is a wonderful practice in that it has weird symbols that are incomprehensible to most people these days. While the result of virtuosity is the ability to communicate directly with people's emotions. Emotions. Remember that such past masters as Paganini and Liszt were thought to have made pacts with the devil for their skills. In truth, anyone who excels in a material field has made a pact with Satan, as they have embraced the belief that success in the here and now is of the great, greatest importance. This is why Satanists are wonderful people to be around, for they are brimming with home talents to be experienced. So. To be a master of magic, toss out those musty grimoires unless they're printed by Shilton. Pick some field and become an advanced practitioner. Be a, be a writer, pastry chef, seamstress, flower arranger, plumber, sculptor, car carpenter, photographer, upholsterer, electrician, pilot, beautician, steelworker, medic, whatever, whatever you have an affinity for. You'll amaze those around you, gain their respect and envy, achieve material success, and you won't even have to say Shem Hamforash, Shem Hamforash in public. The better you are, the more satanic you'll be, a member 
of the true elite of the able. The sheep will be so dazzled that they won't even notice the baphomet around your neck if you choose to wear it. But when they do, they'll certainly think there's something to it because of your position of achievement in the mundane world. Because of your position of achievement in the mundane world. We not only rejoice in the fleshly life. We not only rejoice in the fleshly life. We are masters of it. That is satanic magic. The mad magic of mastery.